George Lucas is one of the most renowned filmmakers in history, having made a significant impact on Hollywood. However, Lucas's journey as a film creator is marked by his struggle against studio interference and his desire to create more personal films. Throughout the years, he has faced disappointment and heartbreak, as fans have come to see him as both the savior for Star Wars and its worst enemy. Despite Lucas fighting to become an independent filmmaker, studio interference has followed him throughout his career, starting with his debut feature film THX 1138. Despite his wishes, the film studio cut five minutes from the movie before its release. With or without this interference, THX turned out to be a box office flop. But Lucas persevered, hoping to become a filmmaker. Things haven't been going well. After this, Lucas's attempts to finance two projects, American Graffiti and an unnamed space opera, were unsuccessful, with no studios interested in either project. After much effort, Lucas convinced Universal Pictures to finance American Graffiti. Lucas was granted full artistic control and final cut privilege over the film. But despite the promises that the studio had made, they demanded to recut the film after a test screening. Lucas even tried to buy the film from Universal to prevent the cuts, with the help from his friend and mentor Francis Ford Coppola. The studio refused and went ahead and removed a few scenes from the movie before its release. In the end, the film became a success and earned Lucas an Oscar nomination for Best Director. Okay, Toad. We'll take them all. Despite this success, most studios were still uninterested in Lucas's space opera. Eventually, 20th Century Fox gave Lucas a chance, but the filming of Star Wars was challenging. Lucas clashed with cinematographer Gilbert Taylor, and his directions to actors were minimal. In post-production, the editor had no idea what kind of story Lucas wanted to tell, and the special effects department struggled to meet his demands. The film got delayed, went over budget, and took a toll on Lucas's health, leading to hospitalization. Lucas described his time making Star Wars. I fought with the studio every step of the way, from the first day I showed them the script until the last day of the final mix. I had to fight to get my vision on the screen. Impressive. The most impressive. The success of Star Wars propelled Lucas to new heights of fame and fortune, but it also led him to becoming increasingly focused on commercial successes and the needs of the studio system. Lucas's creation changed the way movies were made, marketed and consumed, and set a precedent for future generations of filmmakers. Even Lucas talks about the downside of Star Wars and the impact it had on present films. The art film world has disappeared. That kind of film that I grew up with, the European films and the art films, are gone. Now we are living in a different world where it's all about tentpole movies. And if you do anything that's not a sequel or not a TV series or doesn't look like one, they won't do it. That's the downside with Star Wars. And it really shows an enormous lack of imagination and fear of creativity on the part of an industry. Although Star Wars was a massive hit, it took a toll on Lucas's health and marriage. He stepped away from directing and let others write and direct the sequels. However, Lucas's decision to alter the films over time, adding scenes or changing old ones entirely, infuriated fans. Lucas had become the very thing he previously had fought against. God, I can feel your anger. It would take Lucas 22 years before he would sit in the director's chair again for the prequel trilogy. This time, Lucas was able to finance the films on his own, free from studio meddling. But despite the success of the original trilogy, Lucas faced criticism and backlash over the prequels. Fans were disappointed with the plot, dialogue and overuse of CGI. Many fans felt that focus lied more with marketing tie-ins and special effects than with storytelling or character development. Despite Lucas now being able to do films his way, he felt that no matter what he did, people would turn against him and his creative work. This disappointment 
was palpable, and one could almost witness the spark of a once passionate filmmaker gradually fading from his eyes. They haven't liked any of them, really. And they especially haven't liked the last two. Well, exactly. Hey, you know, I mean, it can't get any worse. This might very well have been one of the reasons that made Lucas sell his company to Disney. To pass the torch and to be free of the critique that always haunted him. As part of the deal, Disney acquired the rights to the Star Wars franchise and announced plans for a new trilogy. The sale also included treatments for the sequels. We've, you know, got a plan for uh, seven, eight, and nine, which are the, is the, the end of the trilogy, and um, other films also. But Disney decided to scrap them and not involve Lucas in the production of the films. Many felt that it was time to move on from Lucas's vision and allow new voices to shape the future of the franchise. Lucas was now officially cut off from Star Wars. We do. The reception of the new Star Wars content by Disney has been mixed. While some fans have been pleased with the new movies and TV shows, others feel that they do not live up to the legacy of the original trilogy. Some fans have criticized the new movies for being too derivative, lacking the creativity and originality of the original trilogy, and for not respecting the established canon of the Star Wars universe. The criticism even led to fans looking at the prequels in a whole new light. The movies that Lucas was criticized for for so many years now seem to fill a purpose for the fans. You obviously have a great deal to learn about human behavior. As a result, some fans have called for Lucas to return to the franchise, believing that he would be better suited to continue the Star Wars legacy. And this might be the reason why Lucas later has shown regret when it came to selling Star Wars to Disney. He handed over his brainchild in hope that it would be curated for future generations of Star Wars fans. But even this decision has made people criticize him and fueled the fire of him being the enemy of the franchise he once created. The power of two restores the one true emperor. Every now and then, there are rumors of Lucas's return to the franchise, especially when he has been seen helping the creators of The Mandalorian. Bringing George Lucas back to the Star Wars franchise is a double-edged sword. If he were to return for real and fail, it could reinforce the notion that he should steer clear of the franchise. On the other hand, if he were to succeed, it could exacerbate the dissatisfaction with Disney sequels and re-establish Lucas as the franchise's true savior in the eyes of many fans. This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Lucas might not have become the personal filmmaker he wanted to be. He even says that. I never got to make my smaller art films. That was always my dream, but I never got to realize it. While he was certainly able to create some truly innovative and visionary films, there are also valid criticism of his later work and his approach to filmmaking. This tension between artistic vision and commercial success is not unique to Lucas, of course. Many filmmakers throughout history have faced similar challenges. However, given Lucas's early ambitions to be a personal filmmaker and his struggles with the studio interference, the success of Star Wars may have affected his approach to filmmaking and his own personal goals. But no one else shows how much they are aware and how much they regret that they didn't become the filmmaker they wanted to be. One of the reasons I retired is so I could make movies that aren't popular. Because in the world we live in, in the system we've created for ourselves, you're forced to make a particular kind of movie. You have to adhere to a very narrow line of commercialism. Regardless of one's opinion, there's no denying the impact that George Lucas has had on the film industry. His contributions to science fiction and popular culture are immeasurable, and his legacy will continue to inspire and captivate audiences for generations to come. May the Force be with us all. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you just saw, please like and subscribe. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments below. Oh, and one more thing. Working progress titles for Star Wars.